I got engaged. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Hannah. Today we're doing a sit down and get ready with me. We're going to be chatting about all sorts of things. Engagement, house talk, wedding. So if that's something you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be sitting down and getting ready. So there's a couple of things that uh, I've got on today. So I've got a day off from work. We're currently in the process of buying a house. So we've looked at lots of open houses and I think due to COVID-19 there are a lot of um, there isn't a lot out there on the market unfortunately so it has been very hard uh, but we have found this one that we're in love with and considering seriously buying it so we're just in the process of inspecting it again and getting all our family through and getting builders and things like that it's a double story actually um, four bedroom two bathroom and it's a beautiful yard like where um, it's all fully fenced, beautiful gardens, and we're gardeners, so I can't wait to rip into the garden. But I'm not getting my hopes up because, we, as you all know, you can put offers in, you can do this, you can do that. They may not accept it, there may be another buyer. So, fingers crossed. I've already moisturized my face, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my liquid foundation. As always, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay in Buff my go-to with my beauty blender so yeah getting back to the house um it's beautiful it's in an area that would be a great location because i will be starting uni next year to further my studies in nursing so that will be a couple of years and that will be in sydney so it is a bit of a drive but from where we're living now it's not too bad and from where i'm living on this um where i'm working on the central coast it's not too bad of a drive either So, as you all know, I got engaged uh, and I've popped the link down below if you want to see that engagement vlog. It was very romantic and we're both very excited. This is the ring. So, it's actually a ruby uh, white gold ring and ruby is actually my birthstone. So, it has some significance and I'm truly in love with it. It's just so beautiful. And of course, guys, look, I had to get my nails done like okay there's a bit of a story and i'm going to tell you now when i got engaged last weekend uh i didn't have my nails done at all i didn't have nail polish on i didn't have my tan on i didn't have my hair done it was so dirty like so oily and that's why i was wearing a hat in the photo uh and yeah so carl never lived that down that he didn't make me get my nails done I've always said, when I get engaged, I've got to have my nails done. So I had to rush out the next day and actually get them done. So I've gone for a pink look and um, a rose gold on this finger. And yeah, I think they just look really nice. But yes, I was very mad. Very naughty, Carl, not making me look my best. Um, but it truly was a surprise, so... I mean, I knew that we we're going to get engaged at some point. We had obviously talked about it, um, but didn't know it was going to happen that weekend. So I guess one of the common questions that everyone's been asking is when are we going to get married? It is very hard at the moment, especially with COVID-19, uh, to put a date on that because you just we don't know when it's going to end. Like... It may mid next year, end of this year, who knows? And there's a lot of restrictions in place. So there's just no point. Well, obviously it's far too quick to get married this year. Um, and of course we've got to factor in 
uh, me doing uni for the next few years as well. So trying to fit a wedding in between that is going to be a bit tricky. Um, we probably would like a spring wedding, depending if that's doable with everything that's happening. Um, and I've always said that I want like a country sort of theme wedding and I want it in a chapel. So we'll see once we start having a look at venues that our minds may change and our what we would like may change, but that is what we're thinking for now. Kyle has quite a big family. Um, I've got family sort of scattered everywhere here and there over Australia, so it might be a little bit trickier. And in terms of having an engagement party, because I've always said when I get engaged, I want to have an engagement party pretty much straight away because you're celebrating getting engaged, of course. Um, but that's also tricky with COVID. Apparently you can only have 20 people, I think. So that would be literally like, you know, either family, which will probably wouldn't be all your family and all friends. So maybe we'll have lots of little ones. I don't know. Stay tuned, everyone. Um, but yeah, so... So it's very hard at the moment. I probably would say... We might get married either next year, but the year after would probably be the best because it would be at the end of the year where, um, when I'm nearly finished my uni degree and possibly I might be finished by the end of next year, uh, like around springtime, hopefully. I'd have to look at my timetable and all those factors. Uh, so that might be a good option as well. We just don't know yet and we don't know how long COVID-19 is going for. So pretty much we just got to wait for that and see what happens. But yeah, in terms of an engagement party, we might have little ones, lots of little ones. Um, otherwise we will just have to wait till COVID-19 is over to have an engagement party, which sucks. Next, I'm just going to use my MAC makeup in N4. The Studio Fix Plus foundation. I've always, uh, I've used that for so many years. A lot of people like to use your translucent um, loose powder, but I, let's be honest, I'm a full coverage person. So I like that, being that bit extra. Today, the reason I am get doing my makeup for today, a um, couple of reasons. I am going to have a look at a few house inspections today. One, um, is the one we were really considering and I'm going to show my sister around through that one today and then we've got an another couple tomorrow um, two I decided that me and Kyle will go out for dinner tonight and just have a little celebration of our engagement um, and just the two of us just to you know celebrate celebrate our life together and three, we're also doing an announcement uh, bring for um, our engagement announcement. So yes, we have already uh, put an announcement on Facebook with photos and videos and whatnot, but we thought it would be a really nice idea because um, at this point in time, although once the video goes up, it would have already been up, at this point in time, we haven't put the engagement vlog up on YouTube. So we want to create a nice picture for that. Um, a nice thumbnail as as you will as you would say um so we're and then a sort of a nice little in, uh, announcement photo just to go up on instagram because you know it's all for the gram uh so we've bought a, um some balloon balloon arrangements and we're going to arrange them really nicely and have a cute little photo with this little fella and guys comment down below i'd love to know how you've got engaged the full story what when how like I love hearing about everyone's engagements and what how they got proposed to so that would be really nice just comment below and it's really hard because I have a lot of family in Queensland and borders are shut at the moment so that's another reason why parties are just not gonna happen and then another um, thing going on in my life is my sister Emma she's six years older than me as I've said previously um, she's also buying a house so she was gonna put a offer on a house today so I'm not sure whether that's happened or not and yeah so we could be all moving out together which is amazing I'm renting at the moment she's still living with our mum and dad um, but yeah it's all happening it's all happening and it's funny um, enough that the day I got engaged I was 
quickly looking at the domain app, the which is an app for um, houses for sale. And I said, oh, Cole, we, can we quickly go have a look at this house before we got to the Hunter Valley today? Um, you know, it is going to auction, but I thought it'd be really cool. Like, it looks really good house. So we click, quickly rushed over to there before we headed up Hunter Valley and we fell in love with it. And then that day I got engaged as well. So it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of a sign that it's going to be our house, but I'm not getting too invested as everyone knows because another buyer could come along. They could reject our offer because we do have a limit that we're going to go to because the house does need um, a bit of repair. So we need to put a little bit of money into that house. I'm going to contour, blush and do my brows. my blush contour and brows done so the next step is deciding on eye color so something something I don't use a lot of and to be honest I think I've only used it once um, is my James Charles Morphe palette and it's just got some beautiful colors in it but I've got so many palettes these days I can't keep up so this is it here. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I might see where the colors lead me today. Today I'm going in with uh, Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease. And I might just do a transition color to start with. This one here. That's just a bit of a transition color. You can see it's a little bit darker. As always, I do bring my natural crease up. This one's called Love That. I love that that it's called Love That. <laughs> so it's like this maroon color. This one. This. I'm gonna take that color and pop it on the outer eye. And then I'm thinking I'm using, I'm going to use like a gold um, um, foil sparkle colour. gold on the inner eye and uh, maroon on the outside of the eye. 
I think that looks really gorgeous and perfect for an engagement announcement. So I'm just going to go on and do a bit more gold in the inner eye, inner corner eye, sorry, and just put a bit of setting spray on, on it because it really just pops that glitter. You can see that in the inner corner there. It's just really giving it a pop. just gone along and done my eyeliner and my mascara so this is what the eyes are looking like I think they're looking really good so to finish this look off I'm going to do a bit of highlight and a bit of setting spray uh, I've got my Jeffree Star Morphe setting spray and highlight today I'm gonna go in for I've used this one before. It's the Mecca Cosmetica. It's a sample size uh, Enlightened Powder Mini. So I'm just going to put a bit of setting spray on my cheeks. Just to give that a pop. And go apply my highlight. And lipstick, I'm going to be using probably just a nude today because my eye is quite bright. Ooh. Today I'm going to be using a MAC lipstick. Uh, it's called Flesh Pot. It's a nude colour. I'm just going to finish that off with setting spray. myself a little um I've seen YouTubers use these little automatic fans I need to get myself one of them I've got to find where to get them online so this is the final look I've gone and creeped my hair I don't know if you can see that my hair is quite dark so I'm not sure if you can see that you'll see it when I change my outfit for our announcement engagement but this is my final look for my makeup
so I'm just going to pop you on a little time lapse now while I prep the balloons and do our arrangement for our announcement. So I'm just going to be setting up the balloon arrangement and I'm not, I've got a bit of a vision in my head. I've got a few loose helium balloons behind me and I've got a foil balloon, a couple of foil balloons that have um, engagement written on them and I've also picked up this sign which um, apparently it's supposed to be super easy to self inflate um, you just insert the little stick and then it will inflate and it's just a little love sign to go with our little photo shoot so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up Carl will be home about five or six o'clock and then we'll do the shoot balloons so I've got um, these are just in the pearl white and that's um, they're just helium they're $1.50 and then I've got these ones that say happy engagement which I think are really cute they're all individual I think I did lose one balloon in the car actually like I think one has been one popped which is a bit sad here it is I don't know why, but anyway. So I'm just gonna use Carl's um, literally exercise weights to hold them down. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three lots. I have one in the middle, and then two outside ones without engagement and our sign on them, and then our our love sign down the front. I don't know whether that's going to be too tall or too short, but we can adjust them. I've just loosely tied them off. So that will be the middle. And then we've got some outside ones. So I'll grab one of these. And we've got one, two, three, four. the sign to the right and then the white one to the left.
white. <laughs> the only bar I can cop. Okay. I'm obsessed, love it. How gorge is that? And I've literally just got it tied to some weights. And then me and Carl will sit in the front of that. One more uh, thing to add is the love signs. So we'll see if we can do this. So the healing balloons only last 12 hours. Healing balloons only last 12 hours, so Carl will be home when they're six hours long, so I have to get to work. And the apparently the foil ones last a lot longer, they'll last a couple of days. This is what this looks like, it's a rose gold. Looks like a bit like nothing at the moment. What the? I don't see how it is love at the moment, but I'm sure it is. It just looks like a big long piece of gold. So. is my blower. So we just start. Where are we going to put it? There's maybe only one. Self love. And it's self inhaled. Imagine uh, Carl and I sitting in front of it. We're holding, we're going to hold that love sign. Um, and then get a cute little picture. So, yeah. I'm obsessed. So that is that. I have to wait now. It's it's three o'clock now, so I have to wait three hours for Carl to come home. But at least it's all set up. I'll get changed and then we'll do the photo shoot. Uh, I will record getting it all set up. Then you'll see the final picture uh, attached to my proposal blog. watching guys it's been a pleasure as always give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next one bye